Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're back to check out some more Nukes Channel 5. This is top 10 scary ghost videos that are nightmare fuel. Before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe if you want. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back and checking out another video. That being said, let's just jump right into it. No, that was good that yeah, time. Yeah, hit the play button. Why, why don't you have, like, uh, when you tell people to subscribe, you should do, like, the thing, your finger to, like, subscribe. Like, yeah, right. here. I get that. Glenn Brothers, Dan McKinnis yeah. from the YouTube channel Metanoise reached Metanoise. out to me about a very yeah, creepy event down. that took place at their home yeah. in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? Like, the two brothers are making I'll be a silly videos. video for their Snapchat. They're messing around with a funny face morphing filter when suddenly something happens that totally freaks them out. I hope it's a ghost. That'd be funny with like one of their friends. Yeah, looks like a YouTube guy. Huh? Yeah, yo, this video is sponsored by Metanoise, M-E-T-A-N-O-I-Z. I got my brother over here, yo. <laughs> they look like weirdos more than YouTubers. Oh, it does. Bro, you look like my Also, you're supposed to look like him. Yeah. <laughs> but I look like the weird I hope something bro. scares them and makes them rip. Too, bro. I've been on the first show, bro. <laughs> does it work on the dog? Oh. oh, it does. Yeah, yo. Jeez, I mean, leave the poor dog alone. What the f was that? Oh, they heard someone hiss. I'm fing shaking, bro. Hello? There it is, Okay, this could just be an animal, I mean. Uh -huh. filter out on their cute little dog Timbo, mm. they hear an odd unexplained sound coming from the living room. Then suddenly the guys hear the loud footsteps of something charging towards them. Whatever it is knocks the camera right out of Katum's hand and onto the floor. Now the brothers YouTube channel is dedicated to their music and podcasts. Uh -huh. None of the mm. videos on their page have anything to do with the paranormal. So what do you think happened here? Did the twins capture real paranormal activity it. on camera? Did little dog Tim feel that something was off even before the brothers did? Let me know. Okay. I wish I saw the reaction to it. I have to watch the whole video. Binchu. Binchu. Sets out to investigate an allegedly haunted hotel in Saga Prefecture, Japan. It is said that the I noticed there's a lot of abandoned stuff in Japan. Problems yeah. forced her so to close the hotel down back so in 2009. Bizarre. The hotel has been abandoned ever since, and locals warn people to stay away, as the grounds are allegedly severely haunted by the angry and vengeful spirit of the former owner. Kotatsu is all alone as he explores what's oh left of the Lord. hotel. He eventually finds Why the former go owner's alone? office. You're saying what I'm saying. To do a spirit box session. After not really having much luck, Kotatsu takes a short break and sits in silence as he scrolls through his I phone. Don't you never and go by this yourself? This is when something happens that chills him to his core. Bad idea, man. Why would you go by yourself? This is not going to end well. Hmm? Nani to? Maybe it's the owner telling you to get out before it hurts you. Whoa. I saw something behind that. Seriously, what was that? Watch as he moves. I don't know, it looks like he can. It's like something was trying to grab him. The investigator hears something behind him and the door and the small pale hand can be seen jerking back inside the doorway and out of sight. It almost looks as if someone or something was about to grab him. Kotatsu says that in the split second as he spun around, he faintly saw the dark outline of a woman, but she quickly disappeared right before his eyes. Kotatsu grabs the camera and investigates the area, but there's no one there. So could it be that he captured a glimpse of the owner who took her own life inside the hotel? Was she reaching out? You can watch this I don't like hearing reaching out. I think you need to channel. Binchu TV. It was a way to see if she grabbed him. Ghost Cat. Ghost Cat. Oh. Manuel Muro and his daughter Alexia are outside. 
so they capture a ghost of a cow. Yeah, it's probably the cat that died. Very odd in the street, right in front of their house. Okay, so yeah, ghost cat. I don't know if it's a ghost cat. Can I actually? Okay. Oh, kitty. All right, shine the light on it. There's nothing there. Where is it? Oh my God. Could have ran away. Okay, turn off. That's yeah. so weird. <laughs> you like weird looking. It's just... It's... It's... Like There's nothing there. Manuel and his daughter spot a cat sitting in a very dangerous spot right in the middle of the street. Is, how How they... cars pass by? How would they prepare to see the thing in the middle of the street? I know. Into thin air. No, he just happened to look Manuel outside and saw a cat in the street. Out by what they are seeing. So Manuel pulls out his phone and decides to record the creepy phenomena. Manuel and his daughter still have no idea what they saw to this day. And just refer to the cat he gone out jokingly here. as, quote, ghost cat. Uh, so if you're going further, far away, you should have gone out there and just check it and get a closer video of it. We need scary videos. I know. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Yeah. Good to know. Pakistani paranormal investigators oh, John Dali, the Sun Khan, and Sherry Khan from Kai, the YouTube channel Wokia Ta Official Wokia. are investigating an abandoned building that locals claim is severely haunted by a sinister entity. This entity is said to take on the shape of whoever enters the building. Huh? So if you enter the building, it's a chance to take the shape of the that is. They begin to hear disturbing sounds so it's going to look like one of them. Yeah. In fact, the odd sounds make them a bit scared to even get closer. However, investigator Chan Ali finally dares to take a peek Chandali. inside the building. And he sees something that chills him to his core. Uh, Imagine if it's him, but like it's a thing in person. Of he's himself. Inside there. Joe, what happened? What did you see? Left side of the huh? At least he's smart and brings extra people. Yeah. Yeah. What did What's you see? Some dark calling? was standing there. Oh yeah, right there. What is that? He's with like long hair, pale skin. A dark figure can be seen looking back at John as he can inside. He is absolutely shocked by what he has just witnessed and has to take a moment to catch his breath. Eventually, all three investigators, Chan Dali, Sherry Khan, and Asad Khan, decide to team up and all step back inside the building once again. What happens next makes their blood run cold. This is not gonna end well. So all three of them, at least they all three went it together. <laughs> there are three of them? There were, there were three standing there? Standing on the left. Got it. They look like us standing. That'd be funny at the, all, at the three or whatever it is. Okay, they are video. <coughs> Come on, see? get in there. <laughs> Looked exactly like us. Where is it? I can't even see it. Oh my god. It looks just like them. They're like, oh my god, we have to leave that room. If you want to die, go on. <laughs> if you want to die, brother. The investigators don't just see a dark figure, but they see perfect copies of all three of them staring wow. back. Now, understandably, the team is seriously freaked out. And who wouldn't be? So, what would you do if you came face to face with someone who looks exactly like you? He was inside an allegedly haunted the frozen was creepy, really creepy. Let me know. You can watch this entire investigation. I think that's funny if you want to die, go on there. Yeah. Channel. Wokieta official. Wokieta. I'm going to have to watch that full Not video on that. Yeah. Nuke Stop 5 viewer Martin and his wife are out delivering food for so DoorDash, creepy. driving through a wooded area near Chesapeake, Virginia. Oh, Suddenly, they spot something truly disturbing. Right there. 
Yeah. 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 Hmm. I don't know what a deer looks like. Yeah, it? <laughs> Unless I see something again. Did you see it? No. A strange figure can be seen running out of the woods at a super fast speed, and then it disappears into the darkness on mm. the other side of the road. Now, you certainly can't blame him, but Martin doesn't want any part of this. <laughs> he jams his foot down on the gas and just gets out of there. Well, his girlfriend kind of giggles at him a little bit. But now Martin got the best view of this figure and he says that something on two legs just jumped from the trees and ran right across the road. Martin says that whatever it was looked humanoid, hmm. but he has no clue what it could have been. So what do you think Martin and his wife captured on their dash cam? I mean, who knows? It could have, it could be a real person. Just, could have been. just being an idiot. New supply here, Max Cortez from Austin, Texas, works at Gables Republic Square Residential Complex as a concierge. The original construction what? was built in 1904 concierge. as a warehouse, before later being a person like into a luxury apartment. The hotel. The rest of the history of the building is pretty much unknown. But late one night, worker Max experiences something so terrifying that he actually calls the building to come check it out. What? Hello? So he had his own security. Actually. Hello? That yeah, that sounds talking. Oh Hello? my god. Some music. Some music. Oh. Singing. Or humming. Hello? Hello? This is bizarre. Where is it? Hello. Who is it? It's it's coming right around now. Hello. Jeez. The flies. Now what makes oh. this event even creepier is that this unexplained humming that sounds like either a woman Why or a child. Why are you laughing? You really jumped like a bull. Well, I didn't. I was waiting. That's our plan. I didn't <laughs> cut that out. Hello. Right. She's paranormal. Look what yeah. happens. I think they're checking the sound system. Are you showing me? As Max turns a corner, it seems like whoever or whatever is humming is suddenly right in his face. Max said that he had security come back again to check it out, but they didn't find anyone. And the building security cameras caught nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm, that's so did Max experience a freak paranormal event while working the late shift? Or Let probably. Visitors. I was say it got really loud. Now this next them. freaky video has been circulating the internet, but no one really Visitors? seems to know the source. Some skeptical Aliens. viewers even claim to have seen the video before. But if they did, it seems like no one can provide a link to prove it. So the only story that goes with this video is that it was allegedly oh. recorded by a CCTV camera. Hmm. And what happens next is unnerving. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What on earth? What are they doing? Strange work? lights move forward in the night sky before a loud flash of light seems to hit the ground like a lightning bolt. Power to the buildings and streetlights nearby seems to be temporarily disrupted. Now, since there's no source, of course the internet is conflicted. Some believe that the CCTV camera was simply recording in the right place at the right time and captured... Uh, aliens. Aliens. And others just believe special effects. So aliens or effects are whatever. Whatever. I'll leave that up to you to decide. My haunted hotel. I mean, it could have been anything. 
channel My Haunted Hotel oh, have installed hotel. 16 That's live cameras in multiple rooms of That's what is said to be, quote, channel. the UK's most haunted hotel. It's huh. the old King's Head Inn in Chester, England. The, old. the inn was built way back in 1622, and it's said to be haunted by at That's least 13 old. ghostly entities. Visitors seeking a supernatural encounter travel from all over the country to spend the night in the hotel in hopes of having a spooky experience of their own. Harry, Brud, and Danny are there to monitor and support their guests in case anything happens. And all the while, the live cameras record everything. Look there. What was that? This is gonna happen. Whoa. from the darkness and with that they've had about enough they run out of the house and I assume they just go screaming home hmm. now I guess it goes without saying that these two friends had a very short lived ghost hunting career <laughs> this video is over 13 years old and it was wow. posted to YouTube anonymously so is it real or just an elaborate hoax you decide this is a picture I don't know if you're natural Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe and turn on the notifications. Well, that was um quite interesting. Yeah, there was a lot of creepy stuff in this one. A lot, lots of creepy stuff. Yeah, they get you know I I give those last guys credit for going back three times. They didn't they didn't give up. You know, okay, and if they had that, I would have been one and done. I would have been like see you later. I ain't provoking this stuff tonight. I don't know why there's no there's no paranormal TV shows like you know how the ghost hunters go for, they don't go to places like this you know they'll go go to some pretty tame places in comparison to some of these videos that get sent in New Shot 5 like plus they you know they don't go to like really abandoned scary places they go to places that are fairly modern that uh, I just think if they went to some places they, they'd do a much better show for, for a lot of these people they, yeah you know they, they so much creepy stuff there, especially with the New Shot 5 people constantly sending him videos uh, but they always ca ca capturing a lot of creepy whether it's paranormal or aliens or, or, or whatever there's always seen you know most of them are pretty good yeah I mean one of them like that one that looked like somebody running in the woods it was kind of hard to tell what that was I don't know if it was an actual person who jumped out of she was running the guy you know driving your car trying to record because why were they recording you know were they? that's why it makes you wonder if it was if it's something that they did on purpose, like a video, yeah, Photoshop, so many people in that one. So I don't know. I think oh, overall, I think this video was. I think this video was pretty good. That um, usually his it's just nuke shot by usually up there. What was that? This is gonna. Happen. Whoa. from the darkness and with that they've had about enough they run out of the house and I assume they just go screaming home hmm. now I guess it goes without saying that these two friends had a very short lived ghost hunting career <laughs> this video is over 13 years old and it was wow. posted to YouTube anonymously so is it real or just an elaborate hoax you decide this is a picture I don't know if you're natural Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe and turn on the Well, that was um quite interesting. Yeah, there was a lot of creepy stuff in this one. A lot, lots of creepy stuff. Yeah, they get, you know, I I give those last guys credit for going back three times. They didn't they didn't give up. You know, but, no kidding. If they had that, I would have been one and done. I would have been like, see you later. I ain't provoking this stuff tonight. I don't know why there's no there's no paranormal TV shows like you know how the ghost hunters go for they don't go to places like this you know they'll go go to some pretty tame places in comparison to some of these videos that get sent in New Shot 5 like plus they you know they don't go to like really abandoned scary places they go to places that are fairly modern that uh, I just think if they went to some places they, they'd do a much better show for, for a lot of these people they, yeah you know they did so much creepy stuff there, especially with the New Shot 5 people constantly sending him videos 
uh, but did always ca ca capturing a lot of creepy whether it's paranormal or aliens or or, or whatever has always seemed you know most of them are pretty good yeah I mean, one of them, like the ones that looked like somebody running in the woods, it was kind of hard to tell what that was. I don't know if it's an actual person who jumped out of a tree and was running. The guy, you know, driving your car, trying to record, because why were they recording, you know? Were they, that's why it makes you wonder if it was, if it was something that they did on purpose, like a video, yeah, or a shop, somebody people that one. So, I don't know, I think oh. overall, I think this video was, I think this video was pretty good. They, um, usually his, it's just, Nuke Soft Vibes usually has some pretty decent uh, content as far as the paranormal stuff goes. Um, of course, you always have to be a little bit skeptical so once in a while you see stuff that doesn't look paranormal. Like that last one, I give them credit for going, for going back to the last thing when they showed a little ghost. It looked, like, it looked like a picture to me. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's yeah. the AMD, maybe it's the angle, but a lot of stuff was, you know, it was pretty pretty interesting, pretty creepy stuff. So, I think we'll yeah. wrap it up. Yeah, I think we will. Unless you're in the Austin. No, not right. much, no. All right, then. I think, uh, so, yeah, so that being said, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Until next time. There you go.